Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Today let's take a comprehensive look at one of the most basic techniques for using your Mac or any computer. Copy and paste. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than 800 supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you can read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So one of the most basic techniques that you need to know when using a computer is copy and paste. In its simplest form it works like this. You can select something like text and then copy it by going to the Edit menu and Copy. And Notice the keyboard shortcut is Command C. Then you can go somewhere else in that document and then go to Paste or Command V to paste a copy of that. So what's actually happening there? Well when you select some text and then Copy you're actually placing a copy of that item in what's called the clipboard or sometimes the buffer. And that's this visible storage space where that content sits there and waits for a paste command and then it will paste what's in there. But it doesn't clear out the clipboard. You can go and paste again. I can just keep using Command V as many times as I want. The contents of the clipboard remain the same even after I've pasted. Now you can also use Cut instead of Copy. The difference being when you choose Edit, Cut or Command X it deletes the original content. It still puts a copy of that in the buffer. So you can then use Command V to paste. This is useful for when you want to move content, not copy it. Now some people also use Cut as a substitute for Delete. It's a little safer than deleting because when you delete what you've deleted is gone although you can get it back with an undo. But when you Cut it deletes it but it also places a copy in the buffer. So you could decide to paste it somewhere else or you could decide to simply do nothing with it. Now there's a lot more to copy and paste than just that. For instance I could copy And then I can go to a separate document like this one and paste into that document. So you can copy from one document and paste into another. You could also go to a completely different app. Like for instance I can go to Mail here where I'm composing a new message and I can paste into the message there. So you can copy and paste between apps as long as the content makes sense. For instance copying and pasting text from a text edit document to a mail message makes sense. But maybe copying a video clip into a text document, that doesn't make sense. Now when copying and pasting text, notice that not just the text was pasted. Also the styling was pasted as well. So in this case the font size was bigger. But even if it was a different font, if it was a different style like italics or it was a different color, that would come along with the copy and paste. However, you can copy and then use Edit, Paste and Match Style. In this app, Text Edit, it's Option Shift Command V. And using this will actually paste but just the plain text. And that will take on the styling of wherever it was you were inserting it. Different apps have different commands and different keyboard shortcuts for this kind of command. Now copy and paste works for more than just text. It works for just about anything. So here I am in an image editing app, in this case Pixelmator Pro, and I can choose the selection tool. I can select something and then I could do Copy and then Paste and you could see it pasted another layer with just that selection in it. I can now switch to the Move tool and move this copy around. And you can even paste into another document. So I'll go to this blank document here and do Command V to paste and you can see it pastes a copy of the part of the image I had selected. Here I am in the Photos app and I could select a photo. And let's say I wanted to paste it into a document. I could just Command C to copy it there in Photos. Then go to a document like this text edit document and then Command V to paste it into that document. The same thing in any other app like Pages, Numbers, Keynote, Microsoft Word, whatever you want. If I paste here you can see it's going to paste that photo that I copied from the Photos app. You can also paste that image into a message here in Messages. So you don't necessarily have to use this whole interface to select the photo. If you've copied the photo from the Photos app or from anywhere like a file or part of an image in an image editing app you can go to your message here to Command V and it will paste it in. So for instance in Pixelmator here I can select a part of the image to Command C to copy. Then switch to Messages and do Command V to paste and you can see it pastes in that part of the image I selected. You could also grab other types of objects as well. So for instance here's a photo in Pages and I could copy that and then I can go into Keynote and Paste 
and you can see it pastes that photo. In this case the photo even had a title and a caption and you can see it included it when I copied and pasted it. You can also select multiple items. So here I can select this photo on a keynote slide and then I can command click and select this title here that I can copy. If I go and create a new slide and then paste you can see it pastes both of those items there. So you can copy and paste multiple items if you have them selected. You can also copy and paste files and folders in the Finder. So here I am in my Documents folder and I can select a photo like this one. Command C to copy it and let me go into another folder here and I can Command V to paste it. Matter of fact if I look under Edit it says Paste Item. And now you can see it puts a copy of that file in this folder. If I go back I can see the file is still there. So it's a true copy and paste. And you could do that with multiple files. So like I did in Keynote I can select an item and then Command click to select a second item and you can see both of these are selected. I can continue to select items. As long as I hold the Command key down it will add the item to the selection. Then Command C and then I can go into a folder like this and Command V to paste and those three items come in. Now let's say I want to cut and paste in the Finder. Well Finder doesn't work like that because it's not going to let you remove a file first and then paste it somewhere. Instead it does the opposite. You can only copy a file but once you're ready to paste it if I look in the Edit menu it says Paste Three Items. If I hold the Option key down you can see it changes to Move Three Items. So that's Option Command V. So instead of Command V if I do Option Command V it's going to move those there. If I go back I can see those items are now missing. And by the way most times you copy and paste you can easily undo with Command Z. And that even works here now that I've moved those three items. I'll Command Z and you can see it puts them back. And you can copy from places even if you're not editing them. For instance you can't edit a web page but I can select text in a web page and I can copy. I can't paste because I can't change what's on the web page. It's not my web page to edit. But now I can paste in text edit pages, messages, anywhere. I did mention that the clipboard or buffer is kind of this invisible storage space. But you actually can see it. If you happen to be in the Finder you can go to Edit and there's a special menu command called Show Clipboard. And you look at that and here you could see the contents of the clipboard. It will even show an image if that's what you have in there. Now if you're thinking it's a shame that there's only one clipboard. You can only copy one item and then paste that item. Wouldn't it be great to actually have multiple clipboards so you can copy a bunch of things and then select which to paste? Well you can actually get that. An app that does that is called a Clipboard Manager and there are a ton of them available in the App Store. Just search for Clipboard Manager. You'll get some of the most popular ones right up here up front. I've used a lot of these. Currently I'm using Cloud Clip Manager but most of the rest of these do basically that same thing and they each have special features. You may like one more than another because of a feature it offers. So take a look at these and maybe get yourself a clipboard manager to make copy and paste even more powerful. I publish new tutorials every weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. Then hit the little bell icon to get notifications for each new tutorial.